Hello guys and welcome to a brand new video. Today I'm here with the God of High School episode number 9. Okay, in the previous episode, um, it was like a lot of things happened in the previous episode. Uh, first of all, uh, we got to meet a new character uh, who became uh, quite friendly with uh, Jin Mori. And uh, after that we got to know that uh, the announcers, uh, wife and kids are fine, they were like used like uh, decoys were used to trick the enemy and uh, we also got to uh, like see like uh, Jinmo's birthday and his friends coming to celebrating it and, like uh, that was a really nice scene and at the end we like got a very bad news that is um, his grandfather was kidnapped and uh, yeah like uh, that is a bit of a problem because like his grandfather himself is so strong and he's been kidnapped and like Jin like Jin the only person who he has that he can call his family I think is his grandfather so like it's like a quite an emotional thing for him so let's see what happens in this episode okay so we'll be starting the episode and um, i'll be putting the subtitles and the timer here sync it to whichever is your pres uh, preference and let's get started all right i'll be counting down three two one go okay the flashback Well, that happened. Okay. <laughs> yeah, do what you want. Yes. My god, these powers are like, like huge ass swords and everything. Oh my god. Yeah, he won't be able to. Okay, he will try to come back. Okay. Okay, the start. Um, let me. Ooh, god damn it! It's hot over here. Like, ah, uh, like uh, outside it's like thirty-two degrees, thirty-two degrees centigrade, and in my room, uh, because like my PC is uh, constantly on, and uh, the heat it generates. Like my room is like I think thirty-six or seven. God damn it, like, ugh, it's freaking hot. Oh. Uh, so another thing, like, I was, uh, like, hearing that the enemy is rushing a lot of things i don't know because i've never like read the web novel not the manga or anything but uh like i can't see any kind of like rushing thing that's happening but i think like uh, for the web uh, toon readers or like there are more kind of character developments and everything so like a lot of people are pissed and uh, like yeah like rushing in anime is like uh, extremely like annoying especially for people who have read the source material yes i am jeju Seated in a room. Oh. Okay.
Hmm. All right. Time to worry about that. Oh my god. I hope they don't get disqualified or anything. Okay, man. Oh yeah. Okay. Hmm. First ring. <laughs> yeah. And you have to like hold on. Okay, so this guy's watching. What the hell? This guy looks like those uh, people from Knox. Oh no. Oh my god, I think that these are like from the Knox. Oh my god, okay. <laughs> okay, like, okay, I, I don't think they're from Knox, or I don't know, like, looks can be deceiving, but, anyways. Okay. Hmm. Like his grandfather wasn't able to stop them. How can he? Oh, oh slimy. Yeah. Oh my God. Okay. <laughs> what the hell is this? Oh, damn. Oh, Oof. what? Okay, so he has a weapon as well. Was like was oh so, but this is a weapon mira's weapon okay so they are from the Knox. all right all right okay okay like she has a chance to get the weapon back oh my god okay so all right, all right. Oh no, what happened to him? Oh, okay. Feng Feng Shan. Function. Oh no.
Well, that means she, she like she's strong physically. Like she has that strength. She did not use the uh, source power. Oof! Damn. Okay. Okay. Come on. Come on. Come on. Oof! Well, that's why you don't rely on your weapons. What? What happened? Oh wow, great. So like you have to thoroughly defeat him, otherwise. Uh, this is a trap, like... Decoy, okay. Like, I was thinking, how did his grandfather, like, be beaten so easily? God damn, like, I should have... Yeah. Oh my god, like, she exploded the whole... Please. Oh no. Well, like they tricked him. All the small fry out of the way. Okay, they're from the Nox as well. Uh, I doubt you're like you're underestimating him. What? Why doppelganger? Why? Oh, that's his power. <laughs> I was saying I was thinking he was calling him a doppelganger. Oh my god, okay. Oh! <laughs> like she got slashed before and that thing didn't stop him her so what can this do oh my god what the hell is happening like oh is that girl <laughs> what Ryukugimia's voice actor again. I mean Ryukugimia, what the hell am I saying? Oh my god, what the They're about done, you know. Hmm. Oh no. Okay, he is overwhelmed over here. Too many people. Damn, they're like ink.
final weapon. Oh, yeah, lots of wood. Every member. Okay. Oh, all right. So, hmm. Yeah, whatever. Oh no, too many of them. God damn it, like there is a lot of doppelgangers. Oh! That's creepy. Wait a second. Wait. Oh, so there are also like doppelgangers over there. So this is a, these are like doppelgangers. Oh. Oh, the acupuncture for the next hour. Okay, oh my god. <laughs> this is going to be good. God damn it. Oh my god. Okay, well Okay Oh no, not the weapon again Okay, like he has an unfair advantage Is it her power awakening or I think yeah, yeah this is like some, like is this a ch chariot or whatever they're talking about Fearless and, and parallel. Okay, power surge incoming. I think. <laughs> okay, uh, like, uh, what the hell is happening here? Okay, so like these are like, uh, woof. Okay, so these are like like some kind of historical people who are like extremely strong. Okay, okay. Oh my god, this is good. This is good. All right. Damn. Lubu, Lubu, okay. Well, you're going down. What the hell can a Kraken do? Like, this is Lubu. Damn.
Okay. All right, all right. Now this is this is lit. <coughs> Who caught her? Wait, did he come back? Yes. Wait, so like, he finished his part over there and came back? But he, like, how did he come back so quickly? Okay, well, I think he's gone. <laughs> All right, let's go. Okay, he's pissed. Shut up, dudes. You guys brought this upon yourself. Yeah, for you. Woof! Damn. Okay, well, they got that what they deserved. Okay, this is amazing. Original. Well, game over. Pack your bags. Time to go home. <laughs> oh my god, this... Okay. Two of them. <laughs> Dual dragon kick. Twin blue dragon kick. Okay. Same thing. Well, what's better than one? Two, obviously. <laughs> okay, this guy. <laughs> the tiger raised another tiger. Well, I think he raised a dragon, not a tiger. <laughs> oh my god. Okay, that was fantastic. I love this episode. Like. Ah. So like only like Handway is left uh, to like awaken his ch chariot or I don't know like if did Jin get his ch chariot like um I don't know, uh, like was that dragon part of that or like it is something else different uh, entirely. Sorry about that. Ah. Oof. Okay, so uh, god damn it's hot. Ah. Uh. Okay, it's the end. Alright, this was episode number um nine. Yes, it's nine. 
and uh, well um this is the best episode up till now like it's like almost the end i don't know if uh, something will come which will surpass this episode but like this this was the best in my opinion and like uh the reason why this is like amazing is because like what what can i say like like we <laughs> like in shonen animes and everything um i still remember those days when like i when i was um uh, like when i was younger and like i used to watch naruto and everything like whenever there was like a new power coming or a new special move was going to be introduced in an episode like i was so excited and everything and at that time there was like no internet and anything like these like we can see it whenever we want to uh like we used to watch it in tv and like in television like you have to like wait every day like uh uh now it's also kind of like the same like uh, if uh, anime is like ongoing then you have to we have to wait like a week for one episode and at that time it was also like the same not uh, weekly but it kind of like came out daily because like now it was a lot uh, ahead like the original series was a lot ahead from uh, the television so like i was so excited every day like uh, whenever there was a new super uh, like a new power or new technique was going to be introduced and like similarly like like <laughs> like we've become older but uh <laughs> the like, what do you call it, the youngness in our heart is still there uh, as my guy used to say springtime of youth uh, always uh, keep the springtime of youth in your heart <laughs> and like i kind of remember those time like uh, this was extremely exciting and uh, like shown and animals are able to do these type of stuff like uh introduce something which like makes you so hyped and like adrenaline rushes through your veins whenever you're watching it and uh, like uh, nowadays it is kind of like has been watered down but still uh, there are some animals definitely there are some animals which make you feel that and uh, this was one such episode like i really enjoyed this um, there were not one but two two like um special powers in being introduced in one episode uh, one was for yumira and uh, another was for uh, jinmori and uh, as we can see like in this episode uh, like yeah uh, at the beginning uh, i thought that yeah uh, maybe his uh, grandfather was captured because the enemy was so strong like uh, stronger than his grandfather and because of the numbers like they had uh, a lot of numbers like uh, they did not have quality but quantity of people so like due to the quantity of people like i thought that somehow he was captured but like uh, the person who defeated the six single handedly like that's like a big deal and this guy like um, the guy who uh, tricked uh, jin mori uh, jin mori and made that thing uh, explode and injured jin mori at that time he was talking big like he was saying that yeah it is like they are like relics of the past and uh, nowadays we are like he was implying like nowadays we are a lot stronger for that the way he like uh, got defeated was so anticlimactic like like he was just like a guy who talked big as far as i can see like he was talking so big and like jin mori kicked his ass so easily and uh, i doubt jin mori is even like uh, like uh, what do you call it even at the boundary of the power level of his grandfather like his grandfather is so strong so this guy was like the weakest and he was talking like some kind of hot shot and he got what he deserved obviously and obviously the guy here like um, the jeju team uh, the person who was fighting you mira he was also talking big and saying like you are not worthy and blah 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 and <laughs> he also got what he deserved like i don't know like these guys are like the nox people like i can see some of them are extremely strong definitely but like obviously uh, like when there are a lot of people in an, in an organization some of them will be like uh, at the top and uh, all the others will be like small fry and like these are those people because like uh, jinmori uh, handway and uh, yumira they are no like 
no way they are as strong as even the like announcers and all of these other people we have seen and these guys can like wipe them uh like th these guys can wipe the floor with them with these Knox people so like they're like they are nothing to be worried about and obviously some of them like the blue haired guy i'm forgetting his name and this chick over here like the girl who like kissed uh Han Rui, um she like also felt a lot stronger because like she broke barely a broke barely a sweat and um like uh she was more surprised than like she did not uh, <coughs> unleash her power or whatever that she was hiding and uh, like yeah like like these people like they talk big but are unable to do anything and like uh, thankfully like uh, these were the people who like they encountered now and now that they have like uh, Yumira and uh, Jin Mori have kind of like unlocked their powers their hidden powers hopefully they will like train more and get better and after that they will be like a, be a force to be reckoned with and uh, <clears throat> yeah that was this episode and uh, what else oh yeah as i was saying like um his grandfather is like so strong so like he uh, defeated the six uh, single-handedly so i doubt someone would be able to easily overpower him so like in the previous episode i kind of thought like no uh she might he might be like kidnapped but now that i think about it like yeah this like this was clearly a trap and i should have like saw it coming but i don't know why i that thing did not cross my mind until the last moment when i kind of saw him like uh, lying down in the ground like that and uh, like that time it kind of came, came to my mind like uh, what if this is like another superpower and he was being deceived by showing a fake photo of a kidnapping and uh, this was all just done, done to like lure Jin Mori out and that's what happened so like thankfully he was able to like uh, <coughs> clear the matter with his own power and like all of them were like, like kind of scattered like Yumira was fighting uh, in the tournament uh, Han Wei was like outside looking for uh, not outside but looking for uh, Jin Mori and Jin Mori was like <coughs> looking for his grandfather like they were like scattered around so like thanks god they like kind of like reunited and uh, this uh, match is as good as over so like they'll obviously win and uh, <coughs> okay another interesting thing is here is like um like there are a lot of info dumping here uh, in these episodes so like i can kind of like remember something but not remember something at the same time like i think like this like this chariot or whatever they are uh, they're like some kind of like i think they kind of said that you have to like make some kind of pact with someone uh, i don't remember it quite uh, well but anyways like uh something like that happened here and i think um you mira um uh, what do you call it made a pact with Lubu and uh, <coughs> Lubu obviously like uh, we all know is like a very famous person and uh, like <laughs> the other guy <laughs> kind of like brought out a Kraken and I was like what the hell what can a Kraken do and this is Lubu like he will just like <laughs> like a snap of a finger and he will like obliterate the Kraken and that's what happened and obviously like uh, Yumiya just unlocked his her power and like she is nowhere near being able to control it properly but still like uh, at that kind of like uh, poor control level level she was able to like defeat another chariot user so yeah lubu is probably uh, a pretty big deal and uh, quite a lot of power like he probably has a quite a lot of power and yumira will also kind of inherit that so yeah like that is kind of exciting to see what she does with her power again and uh, and then we saw kind of like um uh, jin mori like uh, uh using his new technique uh, uh dragon kick uh twin uh, twin azure dragon kick i think it was called something like that anyways um uh, so like that is a new power and like as park mujin was saying that a tiger uh, like what do you call it a tiger kind of brought up, uh, brought up a, another tiger mm, no that's 
quite a bit wrong like a tiger <laughs> brought up a dragon <laughs> as far as i can see like uh, i don't know but i think like he would easily surpass his grandfather like jin mori and uh, yeah that was this episode and he said like jin mori original so like this was some kind of power that he himself created so that is also kind of like a uh, like an amazing thing that he was able to make a power like self taught technique uh yeah so yeah that was this episode like i really enjoyed this episode like uh this was in so many ways this was so good and obviously the uh, fighting um, scenes and everything was as good as always but uh, like unlocking new powers how um, what more how like uh, how much more cooler can it get so yeah obviously like whenever we see like a new power been unlocked and everything definitely the uh, shonen hearts get excited <laughs> and uh, yeah so yeah uh was there anything else in this episode let me just skim through it a bit and uh, the doppelganger thingy happened and uh, oh um oh okay uh, so another thing here is like yumira uh, after she unlocked uh, chariak uh, with lubu's power the weapon kind of like went to her automatically and uh, like the other guy was saying like uh, the person who it recognizes as the owner will get it so like that unlocking uh, her chariot kind of like make her the um like owner of that weapon like is lubu connected some way to that weapon i don't know like uh, they're also kind of saying that the uh, god's weapon uh, it is uh, and the person who like uh, handles it that is yumira and so like uh, i think like it is somehow connected to lubu or as uh, how why did it go to go to yumira because like after she unlocked her chariot and lubu's power came in uh, the weapon came to her hand so i'm thinking uh, it like uh, that weapon is somehow connected to her so that's why she got it so easily yeah okay so yeah that was this episode um Thank you guys for watching if you guys enjoyed my reaction press the like button and be sure to subscribe if you're new to the channel or you haven't subscribed and uh, comment down below your opinions about this uh, episode anything you want to share i really enjoyed this episode so much like uh, this was one of the best episodes uh, of uh, the god of high school and uh, yeah so yeah guys i'll see you next week with the new video of the god of high school uh, so yeah until then goodbye and have a nice day